we begin this edition of The Bigger Story tonight is sensational. It is significant. And it tells you that what happens when those who are supposed to protect us only themselves are bringing shame to the police force. The story is about the Mumbai police top cop and a lot of other people remember as far as the Mumbai police go who were caught in this web of corruption, of extortion. The story that Republic has tracked and uncovered very, very closely. Republic has been able to access a charge sheet of Sachin Vaze where it is mentioned that the Mansur Kiran's murder was plotted at the Mumbai commissioner's office. This is hard to believe, but this is exactly what the charge sheet of the investigative agency, that is the NIA, very, very clearly mentions. Now on your screen, you're reading through more details that we have picked up from this particular charge sheet that has been accessed by Republic and different sections that it also entails. And the entire conspiracy, it says, was hatched at the CP. CP's office. Now, CP here is the commissioner of police. This is the Mumbai commissioner's office. And uh, this is a charge sheet in the Sachin Vase case right now being investigated uh, by the NIA. And it says that Mansur Kiran's murder was plotted at the Mumbai commissioner's office. Let's break down every detail of that big story with two of my colleagues, Shavan and Yesha, tracking that story from New Delhi and Mumbai, respectively. And before I go to Yesha, I want to take this directly to Shavan, who is actually sitting with a copy of that chart sheet. Shavan, uh, why don't you take our viewers through bit by bit details of this extremely sensational story, but a story that is very hard hitting and I think very, very shameful for the cops at those times. Well, in fact, the entire Republic team has been working very hard to get a, our hands on the chart sheet. We finally accessed uh, over 300 pages of the charge, it's 65 uh, pages, which are very crucial. And I'll also bring in my colleague Yesha. And as we put out these uh, images of uh, the charge sheet that has been accessed and the charges that have essentially been leveled against Sachin Vaze, this is what the National Investigation Agency says. He's one of the main conspirators of the crime and joined hands with other co accused in placing the Mahindra Scorpio vehicle with fake registration number laden with. Uh, this is the number and the explosives and also a threat note. What I'll also try and do is uh, the, just these are the quick important pointers because a large part of it is, has been reported by the Republic Media Network because remember th this, what was the main motive? The main motive is here. This is what they essentially say as to why exactly Sachin Vaze came up with this entire plan because somewhere down the line he wanted to, what they are saying clearly depicts the intention of accused number one, which is Sachin Vaze, for furtherance of the terror acts to re-establish himself as a super cop by staging a fake encounter so as to regain his last glory. It is pertinent to mention here that the demand for ransom made to the Ambani family in threat letter posted on Telegram to avoid dire consequences clearly depicts the motive of accused number one for huge monetary gains from the entire conspiracy. Also, one connection with the Lutians media has been reflected in this chart sheet. Take a look at this, because remember, this was completely pre-planned because he wanted Mansu Kirin to take responsibility for the car that was parked outside Mukesh Ambani's residence. And this is what they is, he's trying to say. Subsequent to the murder of Mansu Kirin, accused number one tried to project the same as a case of suicide by circulating such news through his contacts in the field of journalism. So you do have... You take a look at this particular line. You do have Sachin Vaze's contacts within the media circle who are basically trying to help Sachin Vaze to propagate this entire idea of Mansur Kirin's suicide. Because remember, if at all, he would have appeared before the Maharashtra anti-terrorist squad. He was being considered as the weak link. He would perhaps reveal this entire plot. And that is the reason why this murder was carried out. Let me quickly take our viewers through accused number 10, that is Pradeep Sharma, because that's the very important part of how the conspiracy was hatched. And this is what the National Investigation Agency says as far as Pradeep Sharma is concerned. They say he willingly and int intentionally entered into a well-organized criminal conspiracy for the execution of the murder of Mansu Kirin, which was a direct outcome of the terrorist act committed by accused number one and others. He, along with accused one, that is Sachin Vaze, and accused five, attended various meetings in the CP office. So it is the CP office 
compound for the execution of the murder of Mansuk Hiren. As the main conspirator, he hired others. So what's very important, what becomes very clear is what we have been saying all this while, that this entire conspiracy was actually hatched inside the Mumbai police uh, compound and this has now been reflected in the chart sheet that has been accessed by Republic TV in which they are saying Pradeep Sharma along with Sachin Vazir and the other co-accused they had a meeting inside the Mumbai police headquarters and thereafter this killing was done by contract killing killers they were contract killers that were basically hired by Sachin Vazir to carry out this entire execution let me also uh, bring in my colleague Yesha who's joining us and who's also brought in details along with uh, Alicia Yesha, there are other very important news points as far as this chart sheet is concerned and that becomes extremely important to also put out as to what exactly, apart from the motive that we are looking at, how exactly Sachin Vase was being helped by a few people inside the Mumbai police headquarters, how files had certainly disappeared. Can you throw light on the other big news points from this chart sheet that has been accessed? That's right, Shavan. So, like you rightly mentioned, the entire conspiracy was going on inside the CP office, that is the Mumbai Police uh, Commissioner's office. Let us take it to, to the point from where we had earlier access to uh, CCTV footages, wherein it clearly mentioned how Sachin Waze was clearly the center point of this entire conspiracy. Now, one particular point that this chart sheet clearly mentions is that Mansuk Hiren's car was taken by Sachin Waze. We've already mentioned about this. But now what's important, let's understand the motive why Sachin Waze had um, killed uh, Mansuk Hiren, who was one of the prime witnesses in this case, in the, in, in fact, the Antela bomb scare case. Clearly, the start sheet mentions that Mansuk Hiren was asked to not reveal anything to the ATS. Let us understand that when the Antela bomb scare happened, it, it was in fact Sachin Waze who was made the investigating officer in this case. It was CIO unit of Sachin Waze which was looking at this entire case but following which uh, ATS had also started looking at this case and the chart sheet then mentions that in fact Sachin Waze had asked Mansukh Hiren to not reveal anything to ATS about the fact that this particular green Scorpio was in the possession of Sachin Waze ever since December 2020. Now let us understand, in fact I would ask the um, now, Vijay Samir to show the entire diagram of how this entire conspiracy of Mansukh Hiren's death took place. There's a diagram which clearly is there in the chart sheet which reveals how four people, four people who were a part of the entire team which was formed by Pradeep Sharma, which clearly show how Mansukh Hiren was picked up from this particular place at Vasai, then later on taken to various locations and lastly dumped at this particular place at Reiti Bandar. And this following shows how, following which they had taken all the possessions of um, Mansukh Hiren. In fact, the Chachit also men also mentions how Sachin Vazir tried to destroy these evidences. Uh, there have been clear mention in the chart sheet about um, about about how there have been yes. clear mention in the chart sheet about about how this entire um, investigation went through. Let us understand Correct. that uh, also the chart sheet mentions that on March 3rd, it was Sachin Vazir who met Pradeep Sharma at his office, at his PS yeah. Foundation, wherein a particular bag of um, 500 notes was handed over to Pradeep Sharma to carry out the uh, carry out okay. Mansuk Hiren's death. So this entire conspiracy is revealed in the chart sheet. Which we'd seen was right. when NIA had also raided several of these locations when they arrested Pradeep Sharma. Hmm. Yes. All right. Only for more of time, but Yesha and Shavan, we are tracking that story very, very closely for the moment. Thank you to both of you for piecing together that big story.